global warming? Yes, it's finally dead. According to a new study, there has been a 60% increase in the amount of ocean covered with ice compared to the, this time last year. Increase. That's a mi increase, increase. A million square miles more ice. A leaked report seen by the Mail on Sunday has led scientists to claim that the world is heading for a period of cooling that will not end until the middle of the century. That means all predictions, computer forecasts have been wrong. Thank you. I'm Phil Plate. I'm a professional astronomer, and I write the Bad Astronomy blog for Slate.com, where I commonly cover climate change topics. And I'm here to talk to you about what's really going on with the Arctic sea ice. In a recent article in the Mail on Sunday, a journalist named David Rose made a claim that the Arctic sea ice is rebounding, recovering from a minimum extent of last year, and that it's actually 60% stronger this summer, which means, apparently, global warming is myth. Well, this is incredibly misleading. In fact, last year we had a record low in Arctic sea ice. The sea ice over the North Pole grows and shrinks every year because of course in the summer it's warmer and in the winter it's colder. And it reaches a minimum extent, a minimum area covered, usually in late August and early September of every year. Well, last year there was a pretty good heat wave and the minimum amount of sea ice that we reached was about three and a half million square kilometers, which was a record low. So yes, the minimum extent we've reached this year is more than last year, but that has nothing to do with global warming or anything like that. It's simply because we didn't have a heat wave this year. Weather patterns were a little more normal. So it's not that we're recovering. It's not that global warming is a sham or anything like that. It's just that we're just seeing a less extraordinary circumstance as we did last year. You can't look year to year. That's not the right way to do this. The right way to do this is to look over a long period of time. And when you do that, you see that the minimum extent of sea ice in the Arctic is decreasing over time. So it's going up and down and up and down and up and down. But while it's doing that, the trend is definitely downward. A better way to look at Arctic sea ice is to examine the volume. And it turns out when you do that, that's on the decline as well. Over time, the trend is for the ice to be getting thinner. And this is worse for two reasons. One is that there's sort of permanent ice or ice that lasts for a long time, over many years. That's getting thinner, that's going away. Plus, even if you have a large extent of ice, even if it's covering a lot of area, if it's very thin and the volume is low, that ice will just melt in the summer, it'll go away. So it might look nice because you're covering a lot, but in fact, that ice is not helping much because it just disappears in the summer. It's actually fascinating to watch this kind of misinformation spread. It usually starts in one place, a writer who writes for the Wall Street Journal or the Daily Mail, the Mail on Sunday, something like that, and they make some really misleading claim. And then it just starts spreading through sort of the other media that have the same ideological bent. The Arctic ice sheet is at a record size for this time of year. They told us the ice was melting in the Arctic ice sheet. It's not. There's a record amount of ice in the modern era for this time of year. Well, that's, that's wrong. That's just completely wrong. In fact, the amount of ice we have right now in September of 2013 is well below average for this time of year, looking back over about the past 30 years. So when you start saying things like ice is on the rebound, we have more ice than usual, it becomes this game of sort of internet telephone. And the next thing you know, people are reporting why we're having record amounts of ice in the Arctic this year. And that's totally baloney. We're below average. It's getting worse over time. The cause is global warming. And the cause of that is us.